Uh, hi, uh, my name is Reza Rokui. I'm PLM at uh, Nokia. I'm responsible for carrier sense solution for 5G network slicing. In this presentation, I'm going to show you the, the how carrier sense solution from Nokia is helping for automation, assurance, and optimization of the transfer slices in the context of network slicing. So let's get back to the first part, which is a short presentation followed by the demo. The concept of network slicing is an end-to-end. -end. Let's say the, assume I have an operator Y, which has three customers, BMW, Fiat, and public safety. And each of these tenants, AKA customers, need various independent logical networks from user equipment all the way to the application. We call each of these logical networks and network slice, end-to-end -end network slicing. In this example, I'm showing you five of them with various color and the color are basically the SLA which needs for each of these network slices. To create each of these networks, logical networks, I need RAN slices, which basically means we are creating the personality or context in a RAN for a specific network slice. By the same token, I need core slice, means I'm creating the same personality on the core equipment for each of these network uh, slices. And at the end, I need a transfer slices, which basically does the connectivity between RAN and core. Each of these slices, or sometimes it's called sub-slices, needs various controller, RAN controller, transfer controller, core controller, and we need an end-to-end -end network slice orchestrator. Let's just see how we can create these end-to-end -end network slices. Let's assume that I want to create the green network. The operator is Y, the customer Honda, which needs an end-to-end -end network slice for infotainment, asking to create that, and the SLA budget is 10 meg per second. Customer portal, of the customer basically sends a request to orchestrator and asks for that end-to-end -end network slice. Orchestrator goes through the blueprints, network slice blueprints or templates to generate a specific network slice profile for that customer. And it goes through various action to basically decompose that profile. The first thing it does, if any virtual network functions are needed, sends a request to NFPO, which does the lifecycle management of the network function, virtual network function, to create the virtual RAN, virtual core, or both. The next step is the orchestrator sends a request to RAN controller to create the personality for RAN slice, and by the same token, it sends a request to 5G controller, core controller, to create the core slice. When RAN and core are created, the next step is orchestrator sends a request to 5G transfer slice controller to create the connectivity between them, which is called transfer slices. And at the end, the green slice is created and can be used by the, the customer of the Honda for a specific service type that we mentioned. The scope of this presentation is shown here for the transfer slice controller, and I will show the demo how we can generally create these transfer slices momentarily. Interface four and five are defined by various technical reports from 3GPP, and the Nokia is working with various SDOs to make interface six also a standard. We call it transfer slice connectivity API. This is the screenshot of the real, the, 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 the lab that we have in uh, Bell Lab. This is realization of the future X uh, the, from uh, Nokia. It contains end-to-end um, -end orchestrator. It has RAN, transport, and core. And as shown here, NSP, which is the uh, carrier stream solution from Nokia, is present here. For the demo, I will show you I have a transport network connected to RAN and core. NSP as a 5G transfer slice controller is present. And the use cases are automation of transfer slices, monitoring of the transfer slices, 
and how we can use NSP for optimization. During the demo, Postman is simulating a various action or API that in the normal case we receive from end-to-end -end network slice orchestrator. NSP receives those APIs intelligently find what resources should be created in the network and send the service tunnel path API to the network. To create the transfer slice one, the customer is Honda, service type is infotainment, network slice ID, AKA NSSAI is 10 and 20, and we have two networks, red and green. Network red is control plane, which connects RAN1, RAN2 to AMF, and network green is the user plane, which shows connectivity between RAN1, RAN2, and UPF. Each of these have a specific SLA, SLA red and SLA green. They might or might not be the same. So combination of these two networks is the first transfer slice and the second part of the presentation, I show how NSP is going to, the, to create this one and do the assurance and monitoring. This is a NSP, the launching pad. It has various applications and in the concept of transfer slice, the service fulfillment application, policy management, IP and PLS optimization, and service supervision are enhanced and augmented for the transfer slices. The service fulfillment shows the topology, physical topology of the network. It has a physical link. It shows all the physical links. And the IP and PLS optimization application shows the same network by the IGP, from IGP perspective. It shows the, in a specific, the latency of the each IP link, which is two milliseconds. I will get back to that one when we do the path computation. All, uh, both policy red and green are mapped to a global policy and the overall maximum latency that we want to consider is a 10 millisecond. The service supervision shows no transfer slice created. So let's get back to the creation of the first the transfer slice. This is the API that we send. This is a JSON message. It contains customer ID Honda, service infotainment. The NSSAI is 10 and 20. Network red is the control plane from RAN1 to AMF1 and from RAN2 to AMF1. And the policy for that is SLA red. Similarly, uh, network green, which is the data plane, is from RAN1 to UPF1 and from RAN2 to UPF1. The policy is SLA green. We send this API to uh, NSP as a transfer slice controller. Uh, when NSP receives that request, intelligently find the resources that should be created in the network or used in the network, including services, tunnels and path, and uh, basically the first transfer slice will be created. So we send this request. Now the service is created. We go to service fulfillment and we will see two services are created, two layer three VPN services, one for control plane and one for user plane. This is the user plane, the mm, service is L3, the tunnel type is segment routing TE, and this one shows the, the control plane service, layer three VPN service, and uh, service uh, uh, type of uh, um, uh, segment routing. This is IGP map, or IGP application. 12 LSPs are created dynamically. The type is segment routing. The implementation or realization of transfer slice in this example is an NFIX uh, uh, solution. The IGP um, link shows two millisecond latency, as I explained before, and you will see the transfer slice automatically is created in service supervision, customer ID, service type, and NSSI, and it contains two services. So basically, this is an assurance part that the uh, service fulfillment create the service and the service supervision is basically the supervising that service. Here I show the 
access ports from RAN 1 and RAN 2 to AMF, for example, and all the, the feature and capability of the service uh, uh, supervision is basically the, is applicable for the transfer slices. Now, let's say how uh, optimization works. And we showed the optimization, how NSP is used for the monitoring of the transfer slices. When we inject the latency uh, of uh, 20 millisecond for IGP link, we will see the mm, latency is changed and we will see momentarily that reroute happen in the network. In other words, NSP intelligently monitor transfer slices and we do the reroute. If I put the latency back to two milliseconds again, nothing will happen because the, in this case, the path is still valid unless I go to the reroute and after reroute, we will see that the NSP again brings back the original path of the LSP. In summary, Carrier Stand Solution from Nokia is addressing the 5G transfer slice in three important areas. Automation or creation of the transfer slices, assurance or monitoring of transfer slices, and closed loop optimization. These are the three main important aspects that should be addressed with any transfer slice controller. Thank you for your attention and hopefully I see you later.